Hey everyone, what's up? Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the way the way I export my videos and the most efficient way to export your uh, your videos on a Mac. Because I am using iMovie, and um, from my knowledge, uh, iMovie is a Mac application, not PC. So if you are using a PC, this is no use to you. So stop watching now. Alrighty. Um, I also think ITV is a Mac application too, so you should not be watching this video at all. <laughs> okay, so let's jump into it. Alright, so I'm going to just like, hmm, hold on. I might have to connect, well, no, I don't have to actually export it, so I'm just going to like show you how I do this already. Alright, so got my, um, I got my footage in my timeline, and, um, okay, this needs to go. Why is it here? <laughs> Sorry, that thing was just like, I don't know, it was in my way. Um, how I export is, uh, obviously export from ITV, and then I go to, I go to share, and, and then I use export using QuickTime. And, and this method is probably the best and fastest method. Um, in, in ITV I used H.264, uh, format, and it exports really fast. And I used to use like like another format, and it took hours to export. I know I don't know why I never used this uh, format, but um, anyways, um, from iMovie, I uh, I I select uh, movie to MPEG4. And I go to options, and then file format MP4, and then the video format H H.264. And if you're recording at um 13.4 wait 13.5 megabytes per second on ITV which you should be because that's the best quality you want to have this at 13 uh 13824 because um, that equals 13.5 megabytes per second I think um, and for the image size you want 2080 by 720 not 1920 by 1080 because uh, YouTube just uh, it, it reduces it to uh, I think 1280. Or, or no, maybe maybe not. No, that's totally wrong. Um, it, it just make sure the frame rate's at thirty because on YouTube they drop the frame rate to thirty no matter what. So don't even bother selecting this. You want to select thirty. Uh, Keyframe at automatic, and then um, oh, don't forget video format H.264. Then go to video options, and these two are 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 selected by default. You want to select those. Um, for the encoding mode, I use this like best quality, um, but faster encode, single pass. Um, there's no really, there's no like um, big change in like decrease in quality. There's really not. Um, faster encode, your upload, your export uh, time is a lot faster. Um, and uh, best quality, it's it's better quality, but. I really recommend this because it saves time and it doesn't take hours. So, I mean, you still get excellent quality using this. So, all right, press OK. <clears throat> okay, sorry. <laughs> and for audio, um, this is the only one I have available. So, I mean, data rate, you could select whatever you want, but I keep it at 128. Uh, stereo, and then output sample rate. Um, I think on ITV, it's... At, it's set to 48 gigahertz, so you want to select this for uh, output sample rate and then encoding quality best. That's okay. And uh, yeah, that should be it. Uh, yeah, streaming, leave that be. Yeah, so that's how I export my videos. I hope this video uh, helped you guys, and good luck on your video editing and stuff what am i trying to say um no but i hope uh, you are satisfied with your quality and uh these export settings because i find them very effective all right guys thanks for watching